Great. Well, thank you, Darren Rose, for joining us on the Fresno Rotary Video Spotlight today. And uh, let's have you jump right in and tell us a little bit about your company and what you do and what a what you what you're off what your services you offer. So thank you very much, Anna, for the opportunity. I really appreciate uh, learning about new members through Rotary Spotlight. So thank you for including myself. So I own Rose Strategic Communications, and we are a public affairs and public relations company. So we basically assist organizations, businesses, both public and private, with engaging with their stakeholders. And a stakeholder is anybody that has influence over your business, your organization, your products, or what have you. And we interact with you know, them at a, at a public individual level, uh, as well as if they're a local government or a state agency or even a federal agency, we, we assist in navigating those complexities. I've been doing that about 10 years. Prior to that, I worked for Congressman Radonovich for, for 12 years. So I kind of learned the lay of the land of politics and public relations and messaging and what have you. So. Uh, decided when he did, he, he retired that it was an opportunity for me to venture out on my own and and become a small business uh, owner and uh, haven't haven't looked back and have been busy ever since which is an incredible blessing especially in this current economy and this you know the, all the uncertainty facing us so I have a, a great team um, and we, you know, we handle the, the public affairs side and the strategic, strategic communication side, but we also do the normal public relations things like interact with the local media, build media lists. Um, we do social media marketing and con content design. We do graphic design. We do uh, website construction and development or, or enhancements. So in, vid in video production, so it's, uh, uh, an average day is, you know, I could be working on a, on a government issue or a public issue of public policy or helping a, a state agency engage with a local government uh, as a, as in trying to provide information or help uh, identify an issue that needs to be resolved uh, or contacting a, a local reporter and pitching a news story about, you know, a, an issue that affects the, the company. Uh, a few of my clients, um, I like the small, you know, non-complicated ones. So, uh, such as the California High Speed Rail Authority, I've been working for them for eight years. I'm a firm believer in the public investment and in infrastructure and um, the ability to move people and money and information is the power of our economy. So I've been working on that project now for almost eight years. Um, I also have as a client, Amazon Corporation. So I'm their local PR representative. They like to engage small businesses and I help them Everything from um, helping them with identify you know needs in the community to provide a donation to, um, helping engage with uh, local government you know regarding a, a permitting issue, um, and or pitching you know media stories and or helping organize one of their one of their uh, tours. Um, another client of mine, which I'm is relatively new but just really exciting to work with this agency, is the Fresno Irrigation District incredible organization and has massive influence over our region's economy and our, our social fabric by you know moving water around providing water to our communities as well as agriculture so it's never a uh, never a dull moment in our daily life um, my team we all work remote um, I don't want my team coming into the office I want to keep everybody healthy and safe and being knowledge workers it gives us that, that opportunity so that's a little bit about what we do um, so uh, well, it, just, yeah. I think it's great. I mean, people are always looking for the right information or how do we get things done, such as the high speed. And we all love Amazon too. So who doesn't love a box at your door? And me, uh, age of COVID. Yeah, right when I got to the office today, I had a box at my door. It's, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I, I, I help them, but I'm also a consumer. I think that from what I'm paid to what I uh, spend every month, it's kind of a wash, so. Yeah. And we're blessed with the irrigation district too. We, we here in the Central Valley need water, so. And you've been with Rotary here um, quite a bit and you've agreed to be secretary this upcoming year, so thank you so much. And you know, I'm, uh, when, when Ryan asked me and I, I talked to a few of the members, it was, I was one, I was kind of surprised, but two, I was excited. Um, because this organization 
you know, when I initially joined in what, 2007 through 2010, when I was active, I mean, I saw the power of Rotary and what it did in the community and what it did in the world. And it and it's, provides that, you know, that, that extra engagement of, you know, kind of putting where your, your money, where your mouth is and actually helping to solve problems and, and keep the cog and the wheel kind of turning. So that's why that was my interest in joining Rotary. Um, and then coming back, you know, uh, in 2018, you know, Dean L, I came back because of like Dean Eller and Sarah Terosian and Laura Whitehouse and um, Blair Soba all encouraged me through over the years to, you know, come back. And what really kind of clicked for me, Anna, was the programming. I mean, it's just the topics are so interesting um, on a weekly basis. And the club has just done a fantastic job. And then more importantly, the people, the people in this organization and just Rotarians everywhere. They're just, they're, they're really fantastic people. They're community minded people um, that just, um, that, that just don't sit back. They actually take action. So it, 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 it's, it's a great group to be, be a part of. And, and I'm excited, uh, you know, to be working with Ryan to help, you know, help uh, navigate this year. It's a different year, you know, probably not what we all anticipated, but we're going to make do and make the best of it. Well, this is a great leadership team this year. So thank you for, for serving on that board too. And well, tell us a little something about you personally, you know, your family. Um, so I, uh, been married I've been almost 20 years now. Um, and, uh, my wife's from Orange County, so we live in Clovis. Um, she works at uh, Valley Children's Hospital as a, as a dietitian in the ICU. Uh, I know that sounds funny, but she does amazing stuff by keeping little, little very sick kids alive through, through nutrition support. So I'm, I'm proud of that. Got two daughters. Um, as we speak, one of them right now is taking her driver's test. So I'm kind of like, you know, like this because, you know, I failed the first time, right? So. Uh, it made me a better driver, but you know, she, she's a little perfectionist and she wants to pass and, and uh, I want to keep her little, but you know, I'm being 16 and she has a different idea. Um, then I've got a, a, a new, new 13 year old. So they both go to Clovis North and they both play soccer and the little, little one also plays soccer and volleyball. So um, we used to travel all around every weekend, going to tournaments and playing league games everywhere. But now it's kind of nice being closer to home and saves us a few bucks um, other personal stuff, um, I, I served as a reserve deputy for the Fresno County Sheriff's Department from 1992 to 1997. I got hurt in an off-duty car accident and had to find a, a new line of work. And, um, and then also from about 2011 to 2016, I coached competitive softball. And I had little girls, I had eight, eight little eight girls that were eight years old to like, you know, 13, 14 years old. And um, it was just probably one of the most rewarding times in my life, just helping influence those young ladies and, um, and you know, doing it with, with, with my daughters. And, uh, you know, we won some, we lost some, but I mean, just building teams um, was always just uh, an amazing uh, thing for me. And it just, the, it was so rewarding to take help help these young ladies build confidence as athletes and learn communication and teamwork and to learn to persevere in the hot summer, you know, and, and, and just fantastic memories. Then after, you know, five, six years of that, it was time to hang it up. So kind of focus on my business and, 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 uh, and it gave me the time to, you know, come back to Rotary. Well, I'm sure you're still the backyard soccer coach these days. And, um, <laughs> and she, she's probably appreciative for you to teach her how to drive during this. So hopefully she gets her driver's license today. Yeah, I, hope, I hope so too. And if not, you know, it'll make her a better driver. Yeah. Well, you can, you can keep retesting. So, but um, hopefully she'll, she'll score this. So great. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me today. And it was good to get to know you a little bit better. And um, thank you so much for serving on the board this year. My pleasure, Anna. And thank you for the opportunity.